good my people welcome back to lion mark tv mark here with another exciting video so a lot of you guys are always talking about soludo always doing the talking 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 and not putting actions splash you know building companies and factories where uh, the people will be employed and yes there will be a lot of job opportunities in the east part of nigeria well this one is a good news because the tiger food factory in onicha was commissioned some days back by the governor of the state Sachukuma Chao Soludo here in Onicha. Well, this food factory is actually, I think it's not really um, big, but yes, I feel it's a welcome development in the state to see a factory producing homemade products from the state. Well, this is the highlight from that particular one, not actually a highlight but a full commissioning video and also take your time to listen to Sachuku Masoludo speech at that particular one. It was so impressive and I think it is one of the speech that will really attract more investors to the state. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, rare products that were originally had comparative advantage to produce but people have slipped up our that is a fable, that is a story that the Malaysian borrowed palm sibling from the Eastern week in the 50s and 60s. And today, what they earn from palm produce from cotton oil. And Nigeria has become a net importer of palm produce. I mean, and if you look at the economics of palm, the economics of coconut and what this would mean when we discover oil, crude oil, Nigeria then forgot the other oil, the palm oil. But it was the economy of the eastern region was built on the backdrop of palm. And this was growing, this region was growing at an average of 9 to 10 percent year on year become the fastest growing region in the world. But once we saw oil, crude oil, we abandoned this other one. Malaysia, Indonesia, these other countries are now mainstream based and taking over. And you now go there, they're taking it to the high next level. Improved siblings. Some people are getting wealthy, making millions of billions. And we've come back again we've decided that we will intentionally, intentionally, as part of our both economic empowerment program on a sustainable basis, and as part of trying to bring back wealth, create wealth, people on a sustainable basis, creating a new ecosystem around our agri-system, agri ag agricultural sector, to bring back the, ag the palm and coconut revolution. We decided to bring that back in Kenya. In the last, we've been in office for a year and four months. And uh, we've distributed, I think now, about 1.1 million sitting of farm and coconut. And uh, next year, next year, the program to distribute a minimum of a million of farm and coconut. And now, the rare one. There's uh, a group here in Anambra that sent me a proposal for about 16 uh, uh, for, I mean, uh, is that uh, WAF, siblings and so on that they could produce. They said this year they produce 48,000. But by the time I would have to process the uh, proposal, they said they had disposed of that. Uh, some of that answer. But I now promise them that next year, whatever quantity you are able to incubate, we will buy. Uh, the state government will buy and distribute to the citizens. And I said, this thing includes Ufwa, for example, improved sibling. Wait, what? Wali in Ufwa, in my Egan event today, I said, why Ufwa? Oh, VVIP, Egan and Ufwa. Well, Egan and Ufwa, I'm not Ufwa, I'm not Ufwa. But as a people, this has become our, it's our staples, it's our very valued food. 
yet and where any deliberate effort to produce it. Talk about the same one and then them then them back over the dog in another or the name in a days that are very damn work. But there's now improved siblings that can now start voting within five years. And you have Opa, uh, you have um, Ojibo, you have Popo, uh, you have uh, Sour Soap, you have all manner of uh, siblings. About 16 of them that they pointed out that they could you know, produce the siblings that have given them an open check. Whatever quantity you produce, a number of state government will buy them up and distribute to people to plant. And, and I will tell you, the economics, my commissioner for agriculture, who is a medical doctor found farmer, um, he went on, you know, a tour of these countries that are now major producers and the headquarters of their farm. And um, he said, what people do, and then here in Nigeria. And the arithmetic is this. If a poor household, poor household, and you know our poverty line is about 12, 15,000 naira a month. Those earning, you know, below 15,000 naira, you know, consider poor to be living in like a month, consider to be living in poverty. A poor household, when there are five of those siblings, whether palm or coconut or a mixture of the two, in four years when they start fruiting, at today's prices, but you know the prices will rise in the future. But at today's prices, that household will be making a minimum of 1.2 million per annum, an average of 100,000 a month. So in the end, uh, uh, 50,000, whatever, really, uh, fresh graduates, uh, and less than 100,000. So when the five of those and plant it and they grow and start fruiting, a side income, side income, will be making an average of 100,000 a month. But when they say 10 of them, I'm going to make an average of 200,000 a month. A side income with little or no maintenance, no investment, very low maintenance costs, and so on. And it is our thinking that by mainstreaming this, all over the state. Within a couple of years, this year we distributed about 140,000. And in the next three years or so, we would have been able distributing five, five, or even ten, ten, to so at least half a million households. And that means by the time they start fruiting, you will have those half a million millionaires, as it were. You know, people make money without necessarily sweating. But this is, it's not just the economics of it, that people get empowered on a sustainable basis. Well, they get what they government take care. So, take farm and plant. That's better than they will get what they go taxpayer money and, and give you. I'll give you a pan. Go and plant it. Teach you to fish so that you don't get hungry again. And the green, Anambra will be a green land. Can you imagine millions of these things planted? And so on, the plant all over. The entire land will be green. And imagine the kind of oxygen and the quality of air that will bring. It's also good for our environment. The roots begin to hold our soil. The five my standing for us soil. So, what on the environment, what in terms of air, quality of life, income, then a new manufacturing ecosystem will emerge that will begin now to process the products of the palm and coconut. This is where you're coming. You know, the coconut water. Coconut water. 
those things are very highly sought after all over the world. So, in the next few years, this agro food agro industrial complex, I think something is going to happen. And I want to uh, say this to you, Tiger Food. Um, why I went in to just give you these two examples is to illustrate the point that we are very intentional about it. We are very intentional about trying to engineer new ecosystem. And in the hybrid front, I want to offer you a hand of partnership. I offer you a hand of partnership. For example, those products we talk about, if we can partner, yes, tell us what we can do. How we can help to mainstream that. Instead of spending 300 million to travel uh, uh, all the way, crossing River Niger, to go to look for it. Well, whatever they are, they are even but no 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 we 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 have to crack it. We have to crack The raw materials they are there but can I bond their number? Then they clear the clear the clear the clear so I want to uh, appreciate you deeply. The story you told is a story that we need to retell and retell. So that story, the day I get away, meeting with the importers, I would like him, I would uh, both of them to be invited to that meeting. So this story is what share the the matter was how you could go from you know, that was in a way experiment from importation to uh, acculturation, adaptation, uh, limitation, and so on. But the government, the Nehwe was industrializing in spite of the state, in spite of government. Now you find government that is very intentional about partnering with you. Daima and Ambra, Pablo, just like my sister said in her prayer, who went to Tona and Ambra, from going from that informal where they post to become an industrial tech and leisure hub. That's the modern economy. That's where we should go. And make no mistake about it. You'll find here a partner. If you produce it, I mean, one a bit of game here. I'm going to get a level of I want to make it to a bear. That's too bad. Maybe I go with a tiger wood, a tiger fish. I'm going to get a bear and not your tender. No, I go look at it. Huh? Does it look at it? Here is the one I go and there. It's a tiger. Oh, that's right. What do I want to go? It's a healthy living. For it to be healthy, you have to eat tiger food. But, yeah, you want to eat healthy. Healthy is tiger food. But, yeah, it doesn't wear in the rocket to tell you that you want to eat the tiger food. But, thank you very much, and uh, it's really a great pleasure for me. Um, I want to get on to say this, but we have more conversations to have and uh, how you expand this and how we can all get it. This is the spirit of our number. And I'm also asking in their number Nina. Obolona, Eba Amara, Uzo Amara Akwebwe. Amara Akwebwe. I'm making it. Onele Eba Anyanondo. Eh? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Governor. And with your permission, and the uh, indulgence, I didn't see uh, the representative of the good people that we don't really know. The members of the assembly are saluting and welcoming you. Honorable, please leave and donate to you. Yes. 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 Yes.
Certainly one. Excuse me. Sorry, don't see So we are here at Tiger Foods. You can see their processing plant. You can see their workers. And uh, this is in Anambra State, in uh, Mbuka, Anambra State. Tiger Foods Limited, Mbuka, Anambra State. You can see the already finished products. Uh, and you can see that Anambra is working. All these products are made in Anambra made in Anambra products. Uh, you can really be proud of Anambra and you are sure that you can bring your investment home. You can bring your uh, production company home because uh, Anambra is ready for investment. Uh, can you say something to us, uh, Mr. Say something. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. And that shows the boundaries of the 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we are still at uh, Tiger Foods Limited. This is one of their plants uh, to tell you that they are ready for business. Tiger Foods Limited, and uh, you are on to Solido TV. You can share this to tell Indibo to come back home. The other day I was at a uh, seaman uh, group of company at Nobi, and this is Tiger Foods Limited at uh, uh, Oposi, Anambra State. To tell you that Anambra State is ready for investment. If you have an investment, you can bring it home because Anambra is sure for your investments. Ndibo was in a it of even outside Natabane, a number of them Kaiti, a number of mom came a number of call them Bulloon investment to Natabaka. Yeah, Mr. Governor is uh, touring the facility of uh, Tiger Foods Limited. Uh, we are going from one section to the other. Uh, we are going to a place uh, they, they are new like that they were saying to take off this I said no oh, this is one of the project let's uh, get on there <laughs> to know where that you see my shoe you see uh, my car um, we are not coming from um, a place like this we are coming from the rain uh, field where the work is being done and um, it can't wait I'm saying that you are worthy to be celebrated. That the story you just told now, the story you told, is a fascinating one. And the kind of story that we need to mainstream and talk about. Um, because if you look at the history of countries that have industrialized, you know, and the way that they have grown, you see, your mother from being, uh, I mean, uh, running her restaurant and mixing her own um, spices and cutting and putting the stuff and probably and um, on a really just a Yes, move on, get I'm uh -huh. So, it's there. Where for now? If I. All I mix is here and there, and I'm only listening to your proposal. Why don't I scale it up? And from scaling that up, now, thanks to her as well for bringing up the children that are able to now follow in the state. And I'm sure wherever is she, is she there? She's late. May, may her soul rest in peace. And I think. Um, as we celebrate you and celebrate 
the best in Anambra. We must not forget her. Because she laid a very solid foundation. Um, very, very solid foundation. This is a story worth telling. And that you guys have now taken that story from a restaurant, man must work, to now this kind of conglomerate and getting it all around the world, uh, the product around the world. It's Tiger Foods. And I want to believe that one of the products, you might also put her name there so that we can, as we sell the product, it's her name that the world would also be mentioning. Yes. You look at the East Asian economies and the way they develop. Some of them went by imitation. Some of them went by copying before they now innovated. This is her own innovation, as it were. From that, minor may not even understand the whole science and logic of what she was doing, but that was innovation, life. And that has metamorphosed into what we are having today. And I will also tell you part of why I am particularly very happy when the story is whispering to my wife. That uh, I see people who are try who translate their passion to business. And you see what I'm wearing. I'm still living with my when they asked about this and I thought if it is about food, then he must be talking about some healthy living. And I want to believe that the food that you are dealing with is quite healthy living. Her own story is that she started this uh, fitness thing and healthy living, you are what you eat and so on and so forth. Started that, um, I think, uh, giving, uh, giving them lectures about eating uh, oat and oatmeal and all of that and giving it out free to people to try oatmeal, it will help with this and that and blah blah blah, eat more fiber than fat and you know, giving public uh, talks many years ago. And then everybody now was calling her to send the, um, ah, I tried uh, that oat you gave me, can you send me more? And then after a while she realized she could no longer sustain the charity, she turned it into business. <laughs> No one, you number at all. <laughs> to turn it into business. And um, I must say, today now, I think every month he has container loads that are flooding the 100% British uh, oats. I think in every supermarket in Nigeria, you'll find her royal oats um, out there. And then also, now, part of that healthy living thing, um, you got to take this organic and whether it's healthy, they check the ingredients and all of that and so on and so forth. From there, I began to um, venture into spices. And um, I think, uh, I don't know, not uh, 30, 30 spices. And then make now, 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 work on I think, you know, I can put a business partner here about that. <laughs> So now and then me and then my mother got got the healthy, got draw healthy, got draw healthy, my dear healthy, my dear. Even my little baby knock it and my mother belly. Oh, boss, I want to show to her that I can. Have you eaten? Yeah, I have eaten. How 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 is it? Is it good? The man from some healthy, a little unhealthy. <laughs> Yeah, we for that draw healthy. And I want to believe that Tiger Food is producing the very healthy type. I want to believe that. I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it a way. I'm going to name it. 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 I